A very good evening and namaskar. Honorable Sri Alan Ganuji, Minister for Foreign Affairs. Honorable Dr. Rin Ginaden Padayachi, Honorable Minister for Finance. Honorable Sri Deepak Balgobin, Minister for IT. Madam Nandini Singla, High Commissioner of India and Mauritius, all the distinguished guests, my sisters and brothers from Mauritius, friends. At the outset, uh, I would like to thank Minister Ganu for his kind words. Such views coming from a very senior leader like him will motivate me in my future endeavors. And I'm very thankful to him because he was instrumental in inviting me here. And uh, I think from today, we are charting a new chapter in the history of relationship of India and Mauritius and we are taking it to the next level. Now a new relationship at sub-national level, it's a relationship between Mauritius and Maharashtra. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji always says that India lives in states. And he always encourages states to interact more with the foreign countries, with the foreign national governments. Because he feels that such type of relationships will be more fruitful and I think that's what brings me here and here are we in this business forum talking about not just our historic relationship but also about our shared future. We know that uh, under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, India is heading the G20 presidency and the logo and motto of G20 this time is one earth, one family, one future. It is based on the age-old Indian etho of Vasudheva Kutumbakam. The entire world is one family. And I see the manifestation of these, this etho when I come to Mauritius because when I interact with the people in Mauritius, I feel I've come to my extended family. And I think <laughs> this bond, which started in 18th century and which was formalized when India got its independence, Our High Commissioner was telling me that after independence, the government of India sent High Commissioners only to 10 countries and Mauritius was one of them. So Mauritius has been the highest priority of the 
Indian government due to all cultural relations which we share. And I must tell you, this is my first visit to Mauritius and I am very much impressed with the progress which you have achieved with the infrastructure which you have created with the economic progress you have been achieving and with the kind of administration you have been giving to this country I think it is really commendable and I would like to congratulate the Prime Minister and entire team of ministers for keeping this country going despite the COVID pandemic and as rightly told by the finance minister that even during pandemic and after pandemic you have registered a phenomenal growth and that shows the way you have been conducting business in this country. At this juncture, I must also pay my respects to late Prime Minister Sri Anirudh Jagannath Ji, who was very instrumental in building the ties with India. I think now they are been taken to the next level. Having said that, it is my duty to talk about my state, that is Maharashtra. Mumbai, that is capital of Maharashtra, it is financial, commercial and entertainment capital of India. All of us know that uh, the soft power of India, that is Bollywood, is housed in Mumbai. Maharashtra accounts for 25% of Indian exports, 28% of the entire FDI flow into India, 20% of India's industrial output, and barring the COVID years, the seven year CAGR has been more than 10%. So, Maharashtra has registered phenomenal growth in past entire decade. We have 57% uh, of our population which is less than 27 years of age. It's a very aspiring population. It's a human resource, a very well-trained human resource. And uh, Maharashtra has highest number of universities in India. It uh, produces or generates highest amount of electricity in India. It's the biggest consumer of electricity in India. And uh, there are many firsts which I can list. Maharashtra accounts for 65% of the data center capacity of India. It is also startup capital of India. Out of uh, 80,000 registered startups in India, Maharashtra accounts for around 15,000. And out of 100 unicorns in India, Maharashtra accounts for 25 unicorns. It is also a tech capital. It has a great fintech ecosystem, which is actually taking it to next level. And uh, it's also blessed with 700 kilometers of coastline. It is blessed with beautiful forts created by our great king, 
छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज महाराष्ट्र इज ऑल्सो टाइगर कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया इट हैज नेशनल पार्क विथ लार्जेस्ट पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ टाइगर्स एंड आई थिंक इट्स ऑल्सो अ टूरिज्म मैग्नेट आई थिंक वेन वी लुक एट द बिजनेस ease of doing business and cost of doing business have been two things on which we have been constantly working and uh, we have our midc which is uh, today signing mou with uh, edb of mauritius midc is our one stop shop for all type of investments it facilitates investment it hand holds it gets the required permissions it provides land it's one of the biggest land bank holder it provides entire infrastructure and with the this type of midc and edb i think a new ecosystem would start for investment in maharashtra and mauritius because i think uh, this has to be a two way flow people from mauritius businesses from mauritius can invest and should invest in maharashtra and likewise the businesses of maharashtra also have a great opportunity to invest in the diverse sectors in mauritius today when our prime minister is aspiring to make india a 5 trillion dollar economy Maharashtra aspires to become one trillion dollar economy in next five to seven years. This year will surpass half a trillion mark, and hopefully, in next five to seven years, will reach the trillion dollar mark, and it would be one of those sub-national entities. we have reached a trillion dollar mark and for that we feel that uh, the speed of travel and the speed of data is a key in today's world when uh, the data has surpassed oil in its absolute value i think the two determining factors for development our speed of data and speed of travel in maharashtra we are creating best of the infrastructure best of the access controlled highways super expressways new airports ports a world class infrastructure at the same time under the vision of our honorable prime minister bharat net scheme we have the fiber reached nearly every village of maharashtra and now with 5g technology once we power that fiber i think the speed of data will reach every single person in the remotest area and that will open up a huge ecosystem for development for businesses in education in healthcare in diverse fields and i think that will allow us to progress at a fast pace 
all of us know that uh, technology is very inclusive. It is inclusive by its design. It doesn't discriminate between Mr. Fadnavis and Mr. Ganu. And I think in this era of technology, it is a force multiplier. It's one single enabler through which we can progress. Since the IT minister is here, I would like to say that this is also one sector where we can have a lot of cooperation and collaboration by which both the countries can get a lot of benefit. I think uh, today while we were discussing about the opportunities with Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, sir, I think tourism is one sector where Maharashtra and Mauritius can collaborate for mutual benefit. Because I think uh, people from Maharashtra today if you go to any part of the world and if you encounter Indian tourists, a good number would be people from Maharashtra. So I think uh, there is a huge scope for Mauritius to attract the tourists from Maharashtra and likewise I think uh, Maharashtra can also offer things like medical tourism. Because Maharashtra is a, is a medical hub. So I think there are many sectors. Today we are signing one MOU, but I think signing MOU is just formalizing the relationship. We have to look beyond. And I'm sure we will look beyond. And uh, from today, we'll start this new chapter looking beyond and in days to come, this relationship will strengthen and India and Mauritius have a very age-old relationship with that, the sub-national entity that is Maharashtra will be added as a catalyst, take this relationship to the next level. I would like to thank you all for coming here, for having me here. I would again like to thank the ministers for sparing their valuable time, sharing their thoughts. And uh, I would be eager to welcome you to Mumbai and Maharashtra. And we would be very happy to facilitate your visits to the state of Maharashtra. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Mauritius.